C'est important de diagnostiquer la maladie dans les premiers stades ou le plus tôt possible parce que c'est à ce moment-là où on peut intervenir le plus tôt et vraiment changer la trajectoire de la maladie. Pulmonary fibrosis is a rare disease, and so it's not often top of mind or a common diagnosis when they go see, say, their family physician when symptoms start. Parfois, la maladie peut être mal diagnostiquée au début parce que les premiers signes de la maladie, comme l'essoufflement à l'effort et de la toux, peuvent être aussi euh, attribués à d'autres maladies plus communes, des maladies respiratoires comme de l'asthme ou de la maladie pulmonaire obstructive chronique. Alors, si les patients se présentent vers leur médecin de famille ou un spécialiste, avec de la toux, de la dyspnée à l'effort, de l'essoufflement, ça peut être attribué à d'autres maladies plus communes. On ne pense pas nécessairement euh, à la fibrose pulmonaire au premier abord et parfois il peut y avoir donc des délais de plusieurs mois avant que le diagnostic de fibrose pulmonaire soit fait. I think one of the other problems is that it doesn't often show up on things like chest x-rays, which is again a common first diagnosis tool. You really do need that CT scan to diagnose ILD and that can often happen later on in the diagnostic pathway. It takes some detective work to try to figure out if your symptoms are due to pulmonary fibrosis or due to some other kind of lung problem. The pathology is scarring of the lung, that lung fibrosis. And once you have scar in the lung, unfortunately it's irreversible. It's like scar on a skin. Once it's there, we can't get rid of it. La fibrose pulmonaire, ou FP, est le terme couramment utilisé pour décrire une grande famille de maladies caractérisées par de l'inflammation et des lésions dans les tissus pulmonaires. Le terme médical est maladie pulmonaire interstitielle. It's really important to get an early diagnosis of pulmonary fibrosis for several reasons. So the main reason is to understand what your disease is, what pulmonary fibrosis is, so you can learn as much as you can about it, to get help and support from our local and then our national support groups. And then also, the sooner that you are diagnosed, the sooner that your doctor is able to talk to you about different medications for pulmonary fibrosis or different other kinds of therapies like rehab or oxygen, for example. There are some treatments that either slow down how quickly that star scarring happens or reverse inflammation that causes the scarring in the first place. I'm always inspired by um, how My patients with pulmonary fibrosis are all trying to squeeze every last drop out of life and to try to live as much as they can while, while they're still well. In the beginning, when people are just coughing and short of breath, they look well. And, uh, and so we spend some time trying to educate families that actually there really is something bad going on in the lungs reorganizing who does what in the home, who does the heavy lifting, who does the vacuuming, reinforcing that idea that their loved one didn't do anything wrong to get pulmonary fibrosis. We really encourage patients to bring in their family members or their caregivers early to make sure that there's an extra set of ears in clinic. Ask questions that maybe their loved ones um, are afraid to ask or are unsure about asking or just the caregiver has for themselves as well because It's not just the patient living this disease, it's really caregivers and families that are also having this lived experience. It's often when we see folks in the clinic, they're in their mid-60s is the average age, and this is the time of life when people are retiring and they have big dreams for travel and then trying to work through with the family member and the patient. You know, well, so how, how can we help you get to that bucket list? C'est vraiment important pour nos patients d'avoir un support émotionnel euh, des organismes comme euh, la Fondation de la fibrose pulmonaire canadienne qui offre des groupes de soutien pour nos patients. There is the Canadian Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation website where folks can get information about the disease and then there's a very vibrant and robust online support group. The patient population um, has really bonded together uh, and support each other. They advocate, which is so important for rare diseases. Être capable de communiquer, de parler, 
euh, à des gens qui sont passés par la même chose ou à leurs membres de la famille, c'est vraiment important pour nos patients. Euh, ça leur donne un sens de communauté. J'ai quand même beaucoup d'espoir pour nos patients avec la fibrose pulmonaire. Donc, il y a de plus en plus d'études et de recherches qui est en train de se faire pour comprendre les mécanismes de la fibrose pulmonaire, mais aussi pour trouver des traitements. On a plusieurs essais cliniques en cours. Les patients peuvent se joindre à des essais cliniques pour des nouveaux médicaments qui sont en voie de développement. Alors, c'est vraiment un moment très encourageant pour nos patients, puis pour nous-mêmes aussi, les médecins, puis les professionnels de la santé qui s'occupent des patients avec la fibrose pulmonaire. I want more folks to be aware of this disease. More importantly, I want more family doctors to be aware of pulmonary fibrosis. So if somebody has cough and shortness of breath and fatigue and it's not asthma and it's not COPD, uh, maybe it's pulmonary fibrosis.